Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 75. As always, thank you for tuning in, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, and thank you for all the great comments and feedback. It is very much appreciated. In today's Tip of the Day, I am going to show you a little bit about slugs. A slug, in Source Filmmaker parlance, is simply a blank set of film. It has no camera, no models, no map, it's just black. And you might think to yourself, what would I use that for? Because that doesn't seem terribly useful. Well, there's a few things that you might find uh, some use for. These are kind of edge cases, uh, but this, these are some of the things that I'm finding useful in some of my work, and that's why I bring them to you. They're not all earth shattering, but this one I think is kind of useful. So a slug, like I said, is just a blank set of, of, of animation. And by way of demonstration about how that might be helpful, I've set up two shots here. I've got one shot of a pyro, and I've got another shot of the same pyro because I'm lazy. The point, though, is to show what happens when I want to achieve a certain effect. I have one shot, and pretend that in the second shot that there's something else going on. I want a dramatic fade out of one shot and a dramatic fade into the next shot. So what I've done is I've set up a, a clip here that's about seven seconds long. It has a three-second fade in and a three-second fade out, and then the next shot has a three-second fade in. So here's what the, what the result is. It would fade in for three seconds. We've got one second of full intensity, then it fades out for three seconds. Then the next shot fades in. Now, that's not bad. I guess it's not, not a terrible thing. But what if I wanted a more dramatic pause? I wanted some longer space in there. There's a few ways to achieve it, but most of them are not fully satisfactory or they're complicated. Like I have to move the camera somewhere way outside the map so it's just facing the black void. Or I have to load a different map. Blackvoid.bsp comes to mind. Um, those are, are perfectly viable, but they're not always exactly what we want in terms of just doing it quickly. If all you need is some black space, some blank time, a slug is the way to go. Let me show you how you can create a slug. The, the quickest and easiest way, there's a couple ways to do it, but the fastest way is to simply just drag the film strip a little bit to the end here so you've got some blank space at the end. Right click and say replace gap with slug. That gives you a brand new slug. And then you can take and drag that slug and put it over here. And what, what I'm going to do is I am going to make this slug have a duration of, say, about a second and a half. So, yeah, that's, that's close enough, I guess. It's about a second and a 1.2 seconds, and that's fine. So now what we get is it fades in. We get one second of full intensity. Then a shot fades out. Then there's a full second and a half of blank. Then the next shot fades in. That's a more dramatic pause and produces a different effect, and that can be useful. Another thing that slugs can be useful for, and I'm just going to make this one a little bit larger, um, is you can apply material overlay effects to them. So uh, if you're not looking to have any models in your shop, but maybe you want to have black backgrounds for your title cards, well, here's a way to do it. I'm going to say, uh, go to the overlay here. I'm going to say add clip to track, uh, and I'm just going to say add text effect. You could use any material overlay you like. So I'm going to add a text effect here. I'm going to show the text effect in the element viewer. Why? Oops, wrong. There we go. Why, hello there. Uh, and we'll scrub the thing in here. Okay, that's a little small, so I'm going to change this to default large outline. Hey, by the way, if you're curious about where to find that, I'll share that in another tip of the day. Uh, because you can do some interesting things with text overlay effects uh, that uh, uh, you may not be aware of. So that's another helpful thing. So you can have a text overlay effect here that uh, will apply uh, to uh, the black part of the slug. So fades out. You get that. And then the next one fades in. So you can do certain things with slugs that allow you to create just basically blank shots, black shots in between your other shots in your scene, and you can apply material overlay effects to them just like you would a regular shot, except that there will be nothing in the background. Now remember, you can't spawn any models or add any, any resources to them. You can't manipulate cameras in, in your slugs. They just don't work that way. But you can use them in your shots 
in your scenes and your animations to create pacing and so forth if you just need small chunks or even large chunks of blank space. And uh, again, they're, they're pretty useful for title cards if you're, not, if you're doing them in a relatively quick fashion and you don't want to get too complicated. That's a good way to do it. So there's your Source Filmmaker tip of the day number 75, using slugs. Uh, and uh, I hope that was useful, and I hope uh, you will tune into the next tip of the day, which I look forward to bringing to you soon. In the meantime, thank you for watching, uh, and I hope to talk to you soon. And in the meantime, enjoy using Source Filmmaker.